Hello once again internet, me Carmen coming right back at you. In this video I sort of wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind. And that's just being good towards one another. I think being good towards one another is very important in this world. We're all human beings, we're all going through tough things, we're not perfect. And I don't think we have enough time to really waste. I guess the word for it is being unnecessarily, like, mean to each other. I think I see a lot of situations, and I understand why these situations happen. Often misunderstandings or one thing or another. And I'm not trying to put anyone under the rug. It happens to all of us. About sometimes saying things we don't mean. Saying, you know, mean things to another person out of anger. But every time we say certain things, and again, there's some people, you know, sometimes it's warranted. But I think at the same time, especially in some situations, it's very unnecessary to say some mean things to someone. Like, let's say you're getting into an, you're talking to someone about something that's very sensitive to a lot of people. Maybe like your political views on this or that, world views, whatever. And I think oftentimes we get so caught up in what we're passionate about, we forget to like separate and say, we're talking to a human being here. And I've, you know, I've seen this before. People get very heated. They're like, oh, why? you don't agree with me, that's blah, blah, blah. Why are you going to do that? And it's just like, man, you know. And I'm not going to lie, I've done this before. Not meaning to. I don't feel like I do it that much now. But it's something that I've definitely thought about. I've worked on over time. And I think it's something we all have to work on. It's like being respectful towards one another and just remembering, okay, the person we're talking to is still a human being with feelings. And is it really worth it to like do this harm and emotional harm is a form of harm you know and i've seen it happen between families and friends not just political arguments over anything and some people are more prone to getting into arguments than others i'm not gonna lie and you know i think it's something we all have to work on though we're not all perfect and there's so many things in this world that can just uh tick us off at a moment's notice i can understand why people would get like angry over some things or like you know, but I think we have to, like, think when we get into an argument. I think we should try to be respectful. Not into an argument. You know, we shouldn't get into an argument. I mean, get into a discussion. I think we can all have respectful discussions without, like, adamantly, like, yelling at each other and getting into a fighting match. I think we just have to, like, remember to be tolerant, respectful. And remember that the person we're talking to is still a human being. I think this needs to happen on all of the sides of the equation. You know, I have very good friends of mine who I radically disagree with some things on. Like, total opposite viewpoints. That doesn't mean we can't be friends. And that doesn't even mean... For most of my friends, that doesn't even mean we can't discuss it. If we're civil with each other, you know, it's something that's like... We both know... And I am thinking of one particular person right now. It's just like this with a lot of my friends in general. We both know our boundaries. We both... You know, and we both want to be friends. And, you know, we can still talk about these things and be respectful because we both remember we're still human beings and that there's no reason why we can't be respectful. We're not going to change anyone's minds by yelling. That's the other thing I wanted to get to. I think we both remember that. And I think for both of us, when we have a discussion, and I just mean friends in general when I say both of us, we leave the conversation with a different point of view, even if we still disagree on the issue. And I think that's a good thing. I think it's good to be able to talk about these things respectfully. If you can't talk about these things respectfully, you know the person you're talking with you can't talk about these things respectfully with, and it's not going to happen, probably you shouldn't try at it. I'm not going to lie. But I think it is good to be tolerant and respectful, and that opens up a lot of doors. And that's just in general. Even if someone like trips over you accidentally, or someone does something to you, and initially appears mean, it's good not to jump to conclusions. And just to like say, give them the benefit of the doubt. Sometimes, no, but I think there's ways we can work on refining our skills of assessing a situation. Like, maybe if someone tri almost trips you on accident or steps on your shoe or does something, it could be something more complex than that. There's probably, you're probably not trying to do it just to mess with you, you know. Well, stepping on your shoe, yeah, I don't think most people are trying to do that just to, like, mess around with you or, like, cause you harm, but you know what I mean, like... There's, I've seen a lot of situations where people get very angry at each other over a simple misunderstanding. And I think it's good just to, like, distance yourself, take a breather, and just, like, you know, just not 
let it get to you too much. I know it's hard to do. But it's a good thing to try to do. And I think it's good to try to be respectful of people. Thanks for watching. I hope my message came across. I'm curious to see what you guys think of being respectful and tolerant of one another. I'm, I'd cu be curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'm also curious to hear what sort of topics you guys want to hear about in videos. You could also leave a comment on that in the comment section below. I hope all of you have a good one, and peace out, guys.